Yo boys, Honk My Hoot here, and today we're going to take a look at the best cases to unbox in CSGO. Counter-Strike has been breaking case records month after month, and with the most recent numbers hitting a ridiculous 42 million cases unboxed, case prices have begun to go through the roof. So with their growing price tag, it's become more important than ever to pick the best ones to open. And although the majority of cases unboxed are coming from big streamers, choosing the right one to unbox will make a big impact in your return potential when you hit it big. So even if you're only opening a case here and there, picking the right one makes all the difference. So before we start this, it's important to understand what you're up against by looking at case odds. Getting a blue or purple makes up roughly 96% of cases, and just about any of these you get will surely be less than the cost of your case and key. And that goes for just about any case you open. If you get a blue or purple, there's no chance you make your money back, unless it's something like a StatTrack AK-47 Slate. So you're really limited to these 4% odds of hitting a pink, red, or knife. And with that in mind, you need to pick a case that has the best skins in those categories. Because the last thing you want is to open a case, get super lucky and hit a 0.9% red, just for it to be the MP9 Starlight Protector. So at all costs, try to avoid cases that have reds with super undesirable skins. And that brings us to our first option, the Revolution case. Despite it being the new kit on the block, it comes out swinging with skins like the Ob Duality and AK-47 Headshot, and just about any pink or red you get has held their value nicely. And although the Revolution case costs over $2, long gone are the days where you can pick up a case for 3 cents and rip her open. To open any case other than the Snakebite, you're spending at least a dollar to do so. And as it stands, the Revolution case ranks the second best return on investment case you can open, with a 67% ROI which is only behind the CSGO Weapon Case 3. But considering it costs $12 as opposed to 2 for the Revolution, you can open 6 more Revolutions for 1 Weapon Case 3, meaning you've got more chances at actually hitting a profitable red. What's interesting with this case is that despite the prices of the case dropping substantially, the reds you can hit have still hold their value nicely, which is what ultimately leads to it having the highest return on investment of any new case. The only downside to the Revolution case is if you aren't a big glove enjoyer, since any exceedingly rare special item will be a pair of gloves released with a clutch case in 2018. But there's still some big chasers in here with gloves like the Vice and King Snake. A good conditioned vice would fetch a respectable $7,000, but that's no match to a potential of a blue gem or sapphire knife. But that brings us to our next option, the Operation Breakout case. This one does go against my advice of picking cases with solid pinks and reds, since it only has a $60 Cyrex. But let's be real, you're opening cases to see a knife. And if you get a knife from the breakout case, you've got yourself a guaranteed butterfly knife. So you won't have the disappointment of beating the odds just to see a gut knife or Navaha. And if you check their prices, the cheapest butterfly knife on the Steam market will fetch a strong $1,000, which makes the breakout case have the highest price floor of any case you can get a knife from. Now, if you compare that to the Karambit, the second best knife to unbox, the worst ones come close to the butterfly with a Scorch sitting at $850. But the Karambit shares the odds of being unboxed with just about every other knife in the game meaning you're far from being guaranteed a Krambit if you get a knife, as opposed to a 100% butterfly knife unboxing. It does cost $10 per case, but when you pin it against similar cases from 2014, any vintage case is going to cost you at least $5 to open. And if you're convinced the knife is coming soon, there isn't a better case to open. So far, the two cases I've looked at have covered two different strategies. The Revolution case is your safe pick across the board, and the Breakout case ensures that when you hit a knife, it'll be a guaranteed banger. But what if you want the case with the biggest possible hit? High risk, high reward. Well, that brings us to our third and final option, the Revolver case. Yeah, the one with the $8 Revolver Fade and $10 M4 Paladin, but we're not looking for pinks or reds with this one. It's truly knife or bust. And if you take a look at the knife options you can get, it's the most recent and cheapest case you can unbox that gives you a shot at the original knife finishes, which includes knives like the Bayonet Fade, M9 Slaughter, and most importantly, the Karambit Case Hardened. Which, if you manage to unbox and it happens to be pattern ID 387, would give you a full playside blue gem karambit. And after you delete all the scammers that add you, a factory new one has an estimated value of $1.5 million, making it the most expensive knife in CSGO. And at a mere $2 per case for a chance at it, the revolver case has become the go-to for people looking to hit an original knife finish. 
And even if you fall short of the blue gem dream, you can still hit knives worth thousands of dollars, with finishes like the Fade, Slaughter, and Vanilla. And with the most recent case dropping these knives being released in 2015, any knife you pull will see its value appreciate with time, as the cases are considered rare drops. But like I said, there's no other skin in this case that's worth unboxing. Maybe you can argue the point disarray, but it's truly knife or bust. If you end up opening these cases, you gotta trick the game a bit into giving you better skins. So what I'd recommend doing is starting off with cheap cases or sticker capsules and try to get as unlucky as possible. Then, once you go a solid 50 capsules with just blues, switch over to one of the cases I mentioned, so that once your luck turns around, you'll be gifted with a godly unboxing. But that wraps up the best cases to unbox in 2023. I wanted to give an option in each category of risk reward, but just remember, you still have to get wildly lucky to even make the low risk revolution case worth it. And if you want to find even more cases than these, I'd highly recommend checking out csroi.com. Not sponsored by the way. It's an amazing tool to see the best cases and capsules to open and filter by their ROI and profit chances, so that you can see for yourself what's the best case to open at that moment. The numbers are always fluctuating as the market changes, so a newer option like the Revolution case may not be the best in the future. But cases that I mentioned like the Breakout and Revolver will always be among the best due to their knife potential. I'll leave CSROI linked in the description if you want to play with it yourself, but again, not sponsored. But just to summarize, opening the Revolution case is your safest all-around option if you hit a pink, red, or gloves. You won't be blown away by any of their values, but you won't be stuck with a $5 pink either. The Breakout case is a bit of a riskier option with its $10 price tag and lackluster skins, but any butterfly knife will bank you a guaranteed $1000. So if you smell a knife coming soon, I'd quickly switch over to the breakout case. And finally, the high risk high reward option is the revolver case, which gives you the chance of hitting knives worth millions of dollars, like the Karambit Blue Gem. Just to give you guys some extra options, some honorable mention cases include the CSGO Weapon Case 3, which has the highest chance to profit of any case in the game. But I wouldn't expect to see any massive gains with this one, it's just got a solid chance to fuel more unboxings until you hit a knife. And another option is the Dreams and Nightmares case, which does have the cursed MP9 Starlight Protector, but the knives include the chance of hitting a butterfly knife, and even with a finish like the Emerald. And the last mention goes out to the Recoil case, for being known in the community as one of the best cases to open since it was released. And with it having skins like the USP Print Stream and AK Ice Cold, it'll always be a case to open. Anyways boys, those are the cases I'd be looking to open myself, so if you manage to get one as a drop and aren't feeling too lucky, I'd keep them stashed in your inventory and watch their prices go up. Also, if you want to get my opinion on other cases to open, be sure to join my Discord. There's always giveaways going on, and with an active community, someone is sure to answer any skin questions you have. Toot my horn, out.